Hello, hi Rajiv ji. Kamal here from Mera Sangeet and a warm welcome to you on Chat and Jai once again. Kamal ji, Pranam, thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure to talk with you. Pranam Rajiv ji and like always we do have a number of queries sent in by listeners here but before that just wanted to uh, know if there's anything of importance that you would like to uh, share with our listeners as well. Kamal ji, I have been uh, tweeting about this the last couple of days because all the people who have been waiting for the H1 quote unquote lottery results to come through are anxious to know when does the selection begin how long will it continue where things are so about 3 days ago i had tweeted that we have received our first receipt for the expedited processing of the h1s called uh, premium processing that receipt was received from california and it was for a masters degree premium processing after that Uh, between then and now we received about 30 uh, receipts all of them were premium processing but they are from i believe both centers california as well as vermont and yesterday we received our first non premium processing masters degree receipt from california so you can follow my tweets uh, my tw- twitter handle is immigration calm immigration calm without the dot or you can even go to our home page immigration.com and on the right hand side my twitter feed is there you can read the tweets as well as subscribe to it on the forums also it's on the right so so far things are looking okay um i just hate for people to be in the situation where their jobs their careers depend upon a uh, lottery it's it's reprehensible but it is what it is so that's all i had to report on that side no news yet on uh, further implementation of president obama's reform after the l2 letter that came out a couple of weeks ago um we're still waiting for that we keep updating people's questions on h4 ead etc so that's also on my linkedin page as well as on my blog on immigration.com that's all i had to say all right so rajiv ji now we move on to some queries sent in by listeners here ji the first one here says my question is regarding h4 ead my spouse is on h1 visa and his former employer filed I-140 and then my spouse changed his employment to another employer and transferred his H-1. The I-140 is not revoked by the former employer. So my H-4 is with the former employer valid for three years and current employer of my spouse has not filed H-4 for me. So is the H-4 from the earlier employer valid to file EAD or do I have to apply for H-4 again? And uh, what would be the documents that I would need to? to file for h4 ead and uh, she sent her thanks in advance okay well first of all every time the h1 holder changes job the h4 holder does not need to reapply for the h4 your h4 is good you don't have to have a different h4 for the employer of course every time the h1 holder changes job they have to apply for a new h1 but as long as you have never violated status and the h1 holder has never violated status that h4 continues to be good from job to job to job so it is not tied into a particular employer so you're good okay number 1 number 2 your question was what documents would i need to file the h4 ead and the answer is we don't know yet it should be when the instructions for the new form i765 come out along with the new form i765 they will tell you exactly what you need to submit i suspect uh, at a minimum probably a marriage certificate along with evidence of last couple of pay stubs of your husband and a copy of his h1 receipt and a copy of your h4 receipt or approval or stamp visa stamp that's typically what they would be looking for but i don't have any basis for saying they'll be requiring more or less this is just my guess all right we move on to another question here rajiv ji it says i got my h1b petition approved last year it got extended as well i have never used any of these visas to work in the us though i have traveled few times to us but on a b1 visa for meetings with the customers so the question is when do i become exempt from h1 quota in your situation when you are outside the usa you become exempt from the h1 quota when you get your visa stamp so i think uscis's interpretation of the law is faulty and it is incorrect because in my view as soon as the h1 is approved you should be exempt from the quota but uscis has taken the position that unless you get the visa stamp from the consulate we will not consider you exempt if you are outside the us so it appears to me that you should be exempt from the quota all right 
another question here rajiv ji is from a listener who is in the united states and says he's just got his citizenship and now wants to apply for his younger sister apparently who's alone in india he says um, i lost my parents a few years back so she's all alone but she is uh, above 18 so he says is there any way that i uh, as a brother and uh, the only relationship you know uh, here in the united states apply for her and in such a manner that she can be here in the united states as soon as possible the siblings green card is like planting mango trees you know in india we used to have a saying that mango trees take so long to bring fruit that one generation plants the tree and the second generation eats the mangoes it's kind of like that for sibling cases it takes 13 years for the green card to come through and there is no way to expedite that green card mm-hmm. however uh-huh. leaving aside the option of a green card filing you could look at things like uh, sponsoring her for a student visa if she wants to study or if she is a professional or intends to be a professional soon she can come on h1 or l1 visa like other people do you can if you have money you can gift gift her half a million or a million dollars depending upon what kind of money you have uh, that you can uh, invest in her so investor visa would be an option but there is no way to expedite a sibling's green card any further questions i think all our listeners here who've sent in their queries can write in again and uh, or be a part of the conference call that uh, you hold rajiv ji every every other thursday other thursday Yeah we have one coming Thursday and the forum which is forum.immigration.com the forums are open to post your questions you can of course also call in at the last moment and i take questions from people at the end of the call by the way kawal ji i had yesterday i ran into somebody who is an avid listener of your show all right and they were they were talking about how much they enjoy uh, listening to chat and chai just thought i'll run that by you oh so i'm sure rajiv ji with the You know, wonderful guests like you on the show. I'm sure listeners would love it. I would never argue with that assessment. Thank you. <laughs> Definitely, <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Come. So, Rajiv ji, thank you so much once again for being a part of our show and uh, for all the information you've given us. Thank you so much. My, thank you, everybody, for listening. Bye bye. Bye bye, Rajiv ji. Have a good day. You too.